observe the win. The Canucks were on the road to take on the Maple Leafs. Vancouver pulls this one out after finding the back of the net in overtime. We got to take a quick break, but we got a lot more coming your way next. There can only be one winner. Let's do this on the ice tonight. James Cebulski, Ray Ferrall, ready for puck action. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Hurricanes start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Centering pass! Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Reimer. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Svechnikov. Sends a pass over. And the puck banks off the glove. The zone. Quick pass to Pesci. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Denies them in close. Fanacek's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Seattle's got it across the line. Here he is in front. Can't connect. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Gains the zone on the left wing. The Kraken have control of the puck. The Hurricane scoop it up along the boards. Taken by Slavin. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Moves into the slot. Moves it quickly over to Larson. Picked up along the wall by Gord. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. The Kraken have it now. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. Niederreiter's got it along the board. James, he's only one goal away from the next plateau. He's really working the puck now. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We're still scoreless. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Hurricanes win the faceoff. Drives to the sweet Whoa. spot. Scores! We're all living up. It's amazing, isn't it? We played this time, and now it does match like we're right back at the beginning again. That's a big goal. He made an excellent pass and picked up the assist, guys. That's his third. And that pass can't connect. And he uses his... 
Rogers reached to disrupt the play. Puck battle along the boards. Takes the feed. Hits in. He scores! Man, their bench jumped right up. Both teams know the longer you stay locked in the time, luck starts to play a bigger part in the victory. Carolina's effort pays off. They've taken a one-goal lead. Deserved the one-goal lead, too, James. I think they've played quite well, but now you got a little bit of an opening. Try and stretch the lead. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Taken along the wall by Alexiak. Carolina's got the puck. Can't connect on the pass. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Poked away by Shea. There's the whistle, and here's the call. It's hard to protect the lead. This isn't going to make it any easier now. A penalty taken? Oof. Penalty killers better be good. Yeah, guys, this power play is ranked top 10 in the league, and if they just get a couple good looks, they could truly capitalize on this. Let's see what happens in their first one of the game here. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. Seattle's got the puck. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Let's it go! Oh, it stays out! He got a piece of that one! As they continue to be shorthanded here. Carolina's got possession here in their own end. And they get the puck out. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Cutting to the front of the net. Carolina's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they clear the puck. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Now a quick pass to Carvalho. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. And that's a great hands up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Carolina's put themselves in a good defensive posture all night. That's hard work. That's being on top of your game. They've been an excellent. Here he is on the backhand. The Hurricanes will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they get that puck down the ice. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here's a chance. That's gloved by Reimer. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. And the opening face in period number two is about set. The Hurricanes win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Grabs it and rips it! Denies him! He got all of it! Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a short pass to Everly. Big time club saved by Reimer! There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another stop here on this power play. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And a nice job by the killers. while undermanned. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Seattle's got it behind the net. Puck sent over to Everly. And he takes a shot. And that goes off a player. The Hurricanes have it now. 
And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Shea's up and ready to join the play. Cutting to the slot. Oh, how did that stay out? What a toe stop on the... And he came out and challenged a good save. Slides it on over to Everly. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Puts it on net. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead, now you've got to defend it short of man. On as the setters get ready for the faceoff. They take possession. Score! They deliver big time with the man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center in the slot. He doesn't miss. The Kraken have closed that gap here, Ray. It's a one goal. Within one, the comeback is on. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now it's grabbed by Aho. The Kraken have it on the attack. Scrum along the boards. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. Passes over to Svechnikov. Rister makes the save as that goes off the glove. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Right out front. Can't get it to click. Handles the puck. And that's blocked. Puck picked up by... Looking to make something happen at center. Seattle's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come. Slides it back to the blue line. Turned aside with the glove by Reimer. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Everly's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Ajo's won a big draw on their own end. Tries to get it to Gore. And here at center, that's intercepted. Carolina's worked hard to be in the right position tonight. They've had their skating legs, and they're stealing pucks all over the place. Seattle's got control of it now from their own end. Tries it to the crease. Turns it aside with the glove. Everly's run to be among the top scorers in the league continues. It doesn't matter whether you try to shut him down. He finds a way to produce. Gord's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Hurricanes win the draw. Trying to clear. They get it done. The Kraken have the puck in the defensive zone. Carvalho's swooping in on the attack. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Reimer's able to make the save, and on top of that, deflects it out to the corner. Brings the bell off the post. Seattle's players are frustrated as they have a really good scoring chance, but it hits the post and doesn't close the gap. Niederreiter's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Angles it over to Fogel. The Hurricanes are on the attack. Quick shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Benicic. Sends the pass over. And he comes up with it. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Fogel. Slavin's got it in the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to Fast. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Hammers a shot, makes the glove stop. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. 
Larson's name on this list is of no surprise. Always. The rookie's been a big part of this dominating portion of the game. They've been all over the opposition, and the coach is reminding them, don't take a step back. Keep pushing the pace. They've been like a pack of Wolverines out there on the ice to this point. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. Stalls won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Slides the puck to Fogel. Moves it to Stahl. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Benedict. High quality chance, high quality save. Stays with it. Turned aside with the glove by Reimer. Breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Getting into the later stage. Oh, that's so close. I love the chance on goal, but it hits the post, and the game remains tied. Makes it look easy with the stop. And now he tries to get it across to Tara Heinen. Here he is from the slot. Denies him in front. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Shot stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Look out, they can create trouble here. Extra attackers on the ice with the delayed penalty looming. Receives the pass. Let's get the call. The Hurricanes are off to the box. Interference the call. Nice pass. Gains the zone through center. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's the chance to get up now. Moves the puck. The Hurricanes will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty. With some open space at center. Guard. Scooped up along the wall by Trocek. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. It's lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Third period, we are all tied up, and the next goal could be a biggie. Puck grab by Giordano. Here's a chance! Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that desperation effort, but no goal. Seattle's got the one-goal lead here in this third period. It was starting to look like the goals were going to be really difficult to come by, but they've got another one. Now you want to pressure the team, try and make them make another mistake. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he connects with the long bomb. Carvalho is usually a part of a winning strategy for their team. He hasn't generated anything offensively, yet here they are in a pretty decent spot. Seattle's got possession at center. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Takes the feed. Gains the zone through the middle. Here's a shot. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Gord's always had a shot first mentality. He's able to score with a great shot. He's among the league leaders in goals. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Seattle's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Picked up along the boards by Pesci. Quick 
pass to Svechnikov. Slides the puck over. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Ajo's won the draw. Puck scooped up by Svechnikov. Larson's taking it from his own end. For the puck. And he slides it quickly to Carvalho. Seattle's in now. Moves it quickly over to Gore. Huge stop by Reimer. Passes up ahead from the left wing. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Break away. Nice hands, great finish. No short break, and it's in the net. Made this one a fun one for the stretch drive. All evened up at the third. It's never easy chasing the game. They've found a way to get short the game right out. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. If you love offense, this has been the game for you. 5-4 is where we sit. Tosses it to Carvalho. And that's poked away by Larson. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And makes the save. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Penalty expires, and they'll go to work with a man advantage. Not much, but it's still a power play. Goalie with a stop. Reimer's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Gets it out of his own end. Tarabainen's up at the box. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Takes a shot and he makes the save. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Looks to set up at the point now. Taken by McCann. Battle along the boards. The Hurricanes take it along the wall. The Kraken have taken control of the puck. Here's an odd man. Takes a shot. Love save made by Reimer. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. As play rolls on, Razor's edge. Korshkov's going to get the Razor's edge, James, mainly because you told me I had to pick somebody. Now, I mean, he does make a contribution, but he doesn't get on the scoreboard, and really neither of them were dangerous at all tonight. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Snaps it onto the net. Big time saving goal gets all of it with the stick. From the right side and up the middle. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. We've seen just about every type of goal so far tonight. And we're not finished yet, James. This has no look of a game that's going to get locked down anytime soon. In their own zone. Odd man rush. And they can't connect. Sends a pass over. Pushes it across to Tara Vinen. Here's the pass. And that one's broken up. And now it's grabbed by Slavin. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And he easily stops that one. Vanacek's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Ajo's a big part of this team's offense, guys. They're trailing at the moment, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get things going. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Gord's won the faceoff. Picked up along the wall by Larson. Seattle's got it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. Here's a chance.
He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here we go, one man rush. That's a textbook save by Reimer. The goalie gets himself out of any potential. That's gloved by Vanacek. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Goalie on the bench, and the extra attacker's out for a much-needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face-off. Takes the feed. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. You've got to have vision and patience to me among the league leaders in assists as he is. Everybody on the ice has to keep their stick down because you never know when he's going to deliver the P to you. Puck grabbed by Gardner. Shuts him down. Save. Positional save through traffic. A shot at the empty net. Oh, and they missed the net. Handles the puck. Feeds it to Niederreiter. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's broken up. And a puts it in the back of the net. And there's number 20. You can appreciate these moments. Yeah, these are good numbers, I'll tell you. You get past 20, and you know you've had a good season. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Broken up at center by Niederreiter. A chance on goal. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Grabbed along the board by Giordano. And we are all over with this one tonight. Carolina's playing the but they didn't get the win. No, you run into a really good center ice group when you play against them. But they didn't have enough. They didn't get enough done outside of face-offs, for example, to, to earn a victory. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.